Welcome to Chef Roy's Restaurant Showcase. I'm Executive Chef Roy McPherson. Well, we've gone international. Today we're at the famous Cora River in Trinidad, and we're going to learn what lime in it is all about. In Newfoundland, we like taking an easy hanging out, whatever. We're really going to find out what happens in Trinidad when people go to relax and take it easy and enjoy themselves. We're going to be cooking some duck with uh, Shiraz here in this beautiful national park. Um, we got all the other uh, Newfoundland and Labrador chefs. Rodney's here from Halifax, and we have the other chefs from Trinidad. Our families are here. It's going to be a great day. We can't wait to get started. Today we are in Cora River in Trinidad. We are brought along the chefs from Newfoundland to experience a great Trinidad River life. Chef Jason and I are going to take them in a different settings, rainforest settings, nice settings, and we're going to give them an experience of a lifetime. Hi, my name is Rodney Cole. I'm the executive chef at the Lower Deck in Halifax. We just get up here at the, the Cora River in the, in the mountains in Trinidad. Uh, the original plan for me today was to go to Maracas Bay, but uh, this was a way better uh, choice. Uh, up here with the Newfoundland chefs and some of the local Trinidad chefs, uh, we're supposed to have some curry duck, uh, sort of a family style affair along the river. And uh, look, really looking forward to it. It's uh, sort of a traditional affair apparently, and uh, uh, let's see what happens. So here we are, we're doing a big Trinidad cookout with Chef Shiraz, Chef Jason, and of course all the Newfoundland and Labrador chefs, and Halifax, not forgetting about you. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, in Newfoundland and Labrador, trust me, at this time of year we wouldn't be standing here doing a cookout in our t-shirts and shorts, for sure, <laughs> right? So uh, Chef Shiraz, tell us what we're going to be serving here today. Well, first of all, we are in the eastern part of the country, eastern part of Trinidad. We are in the more rainforest area. We are at the river, the local river. So whenever you come to Trinidad, you have to visit the river, have a, as you say, a hangout, a river lime. And one of the most important dishes at a river lime is a curry duck. Trinidad, you gotta have a curry duck. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a curry duck lime today, local style. Chef Shiraz, uh, again, the duck, so it's par roasted off. Yeah. And then what is the procedure again? Sorry. We're gonna deal with him. We are gonna deal with him. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. perfect. Good. <laughs> He's a good hand. <laughs> He's a good hand. I'm gonna deal with him. Don't worry about that, Chef Rory. You're gonna deal with him. You don't study that. Okay. Uh, Chef Jason is gonna give us, show, run through how, how we're gonna prepare it after roasting, and he's gonna show us exactly how we prepare it after. We're predominantly, for the roasting process, we try to get rid of the hair, any excess feathers inside it. So it's like a singeing process. I even believe that sometimes when you roast it, it develops some more nuttier flavor in the duck. Yeah. So you get that coming through. So we're gonna cut this up into little pieces. We don't study the primal parts too much in terms of leg ties. We just cut up everything nice and small because duck itself tends to be a little hard. Yeah. So the smaller it is, it takes a little time to cook in the braising liquid, which is the curry liquid. So we're gonna cut that up. We're gonna cut up our aromatics also. We have like fresh aromatics, like garlic, onions. As I mentioned, in Trinidadian cuisine, fresh is always better. So we have got some beautiful aromatics here. We got our locally grown celery, our chives, our local, locally flavored pimento peppers, which are not yeah. very spicy, but more fruity. Yeah. We got garlic inside there, and of course, minced onions inside there. So this is gonna form the base, almost like the sofrito Next for our Definitely. sorting process. Perfect. And of course, it's curried. So we gotta have those curry aspects inside of it there. In Trinidad and Tobago, we use uh, the best curry in the world. <laughs> this is Chief Brand Curry. It's our pioneer curry factory here in Trinidad and Tobago. And, uh, these are just a combination of spices that make up our blend, our special blend here. Cumin, okay. coriander, chili, turmeric, you name it. But with special spices that tend to really bring a, a lot of pungency to the duck. So it kind of quells that gamey flavor. Okay. All right, so we're gonna cook up that curry and then we're gonna get it into the pot. We got Excellent. some oil and of course some hot pepper here, which Cut is your one. favorite, Chef Rory. Hot peppers, you gotta have Chef, it, you're in Trinidad. Chef Rory is like attracted to this, he loves it, but <laughs> it, <I'm, laughs> it doesn't love him. <laughs> Chef Shiraz, what's going on now? I just want to have the, the other guys to have a, a, just a whiff of the, the, the combination uh, of this. Uh, so when it, when, it, when it adds to the, to the, the local oh, wow. curry flavor, this is really authenticity, yeah, yeah. local style. Really, really, really authenticity, local style. This is our, our turmeric. 
Let me open up the curry so you all can get a whip. And you can have a whip of it as well. Chef, I want you to smell this. This yeah. is our, that is specifically for duck and for goat. And you can it's already pre-roasted. Yeah, pre-roasted. Yeah. You, you, you get your roasting effect as well, do yeah. Lovely, lovely. Chef, try this. This is our ground masala. Masala is a uh, self-made mix that is already made already, so predominantly for to bring a little bit of spiciness and vivaciousness into the curry. So it has a little bit of a peppery yeah. feel into it. Excellent for game meats, but it'll be like duck and even goat, which is what we're going to be doing today, okay. duck of course. Okay. That's nice. Chef? So I'm just going to ask Chef Rodney. In, in Nova Scotia, seeing you're one of our friends from Canada who's <laughs> not from Newfoundland, is there anything, any type of cookouts that you could do, you guys do over there, similar like a lobster bake or something? We we would do something similar to that. We would do like a clam bake or a clam boil. You know, some mussels, some uh, some corn on the cob, some potato salad, that sort of thing. Nothing like this. Okay. Nothing like this. Excellent. So, Chef Ferrari, as we mentioned earlier, on, Chef Shiraz spoke to you about the whole bird itself. That is the duck. This yeah. came literally from the vendor this morning and the pressure is always better. In addition to that, obviously, we did, took the liberty of cutting up some so you could see that it's a really in small pieces just like that. Okay, yeah. Nice pieces of, obviously, you can see the bone inside there and the bone adds a significant amount of flavor to when we're cooking in this, as I mentioned, a braising process, which is yeah. what yeah. curry is about. Definitely. So Chef Shiraz, how many ducks are inside here? Uh, we put a, a two kg duck on that. Yeah, about four, yeah. a little over yeah. four pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, the chef, you want to help Shiraz season this up? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so what do I do? I don't want to hit it too hard with the chili. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here come forward. You could just use some of some of uh, our green season yeah. and some of the masalas, and you could just toss it up and you go. Okay, go sure. Yeah. Sounds good. It's your curry dog day today. So. When when Newfoundland <laughs> curry duck. Yeah, when Shiraz goes back yeah. to Newfoundland, they're going to ask him, you gotta make that curry duck that you learned at Quarry Adventure and Tobago. Yeah, you wanna be on the menu, Chef? Okay. You wanna put some of each of the masalas as well? Sure. Like about a teaspoon, tea and a half spoon, right? There well, you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's okay. That's how all right. Doing? That's okay. Okay, now what? This one as well. Okay. A little more. A little more. And this is some of our regular. A little more. A little yeah. more. A little more. <laughs> <laughs> and some of our regular local curry powder as well. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, okay. these spices are going to be used when cooking too. We just want to reinforce the flavor during the seasoning process. Kind of like a marinade. Correct. Yeah, that's right. And, and oh. the, duck, the duck itself, is it rubbed with these spices prior to roasting? No, it's not. Oh, okay. But in this process, in the marination process here, okay. obviously, it's going to make some love. Gotcha. That's what's going on there. It's your boy, Chef Jason, and we're live and direct right here in Coral River in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm here with my newfound Lun buddies. Get that one? Newfound Lun buddies. Yes, my newfound buddies. And we're here to bubble a pot here, Riverside. We're making curry duck, dal, rice, treating these guys to some of the ubiquitous and traditional foods here of Trinidad and Tobago when we take everyone out for what you call the good old Trini Lime. So my friend Chef Shiraz and myself here, we're going to culminate a great experience for these guys. So this is what we're going to do. We have the oil already on the skillet hot in there. This is a traditional iron skillet. And we're going to, we have our oil heated already. So what we're going to do here, we're going to add some of the curries again, some of the green herbs, and we're actually going to call that wood, traditionally, Chef Rory, chunky. We're gonna chunk it. We're gonna chunk it, curry. We're gonna chunk it. And we're gonna curry. deal with the duck after. <laughs> Lovely. Go. Get that. Get that with it. Spoon. Oh yeah. Eh? Smell that bad boy there. And the roaster guy haven't gone in there yet. So we cook the curry inside there. Remember, curry is something granular. It has grains. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you cook it all properly because. You don't want that gritty feel. So it's almost like a curry paste we made here. Yeah, yeah, We're cooking yeah. it in the oil. Beautiful colors in there, wow. Try it. Let's go. Give it a stir. Oh, yeah. You see that aroma, Chef, you're getting? Beautiful. And of course, you remember it's reinforced with those same spices in the duck. 
It's, it's gonna be double trouble. Lovely. So when one of you guys, one of you, you guys want to do this? Do this, Anna? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, come, come on, on man. Come on, everyone. Come on, man. These guys are just like, I Take just want there. the food, but you gotta yeah. work for it. That's what you hear there. Alright. Yeah, baby. Oh, this one. Ah, oh, man. Curry duck style, Trini style, man. Nice. Ah! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. You see? Very good. Very good. So we're gonna capture all the curries, all the spices, all the aromatics. We're gonna capture everything right there, already. Everything we're gonna capture. Yeah. So give it a toss again. Give it a toss again. We can just reduce the heat a little bit. We're capturing all the, the, the flavors, the aromatics, the spices, the great stuff. We're gonna infuse everything there. Nice so sorting. We'll be adding liquid to that's it. it. To that's it. it. Oh, yeah. That's oh, it. Yeah, you're gonna okay. add it. It's like a braising process. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna be adding okay, some water in. So it'll bring some moisture. Come on, Chef Brown, get in here. Stir it around, buddy. Yes, sir. Work again. Back. <laughs> the way he's going, he might empty a beer inside there. The cook inside. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Sometimes when we have these limes, it's all, it's crazy. Sometimes they put alcohol and dark rum inside yeah. of it and they figure you know it's going to add some significant flavor <laughs> really and truly taste 10 cents better <laughs> anything with rum <laughs> yeah. so the whole dock is in here now right yeah yeah everything, everything is there wonderful everything there i told him i told him don't make the mistake this morning the, so. feet, the feet too yeah okay. yeah he's there he's there yeah <laughs> no <Anyway>. wastage <laughs> <laughs> the liver and everything is there we don't waste any so parts. Starting with a braise, so are we trying to get any color, like a like a sear on the outside? Yeah, yes. yeah, definitely. So we gotta leave that for about five minutes. Let it start to almost stick to the we, pan, we, and gonna, then wow. the water gonna, will deglaze it and also braise that. We're gonna give it a nice cover. Yeah. We're gonna give it so capture all the flavors there, and we're gonna just let them rest there for a few minutes. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go again. Love it. Perfect. Right. Okay, let's see how this is doing now. Oh yeah, baby! Man, <laughs> smells Look good. At that. Beautiful. Smell yeah. the aroma, man. Wonderful. Smell that aroma, man. Oh yeah. Aroma, yeah. You're you getting see? a little bit of sauce there, chef. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Bring on the chilies. <laughs> Bring on the chilies. <laughs> so you're gonna add a little bit of salt. Not too much. A little bit of salt. Because you're gonna add, you're gonna add this 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 stock water here. Wonderful. This stock water already, already have a little bit of. Salt it as well. This is so the same. This is the same bowl that had the duck in. So it has all that great essence inside there. So we just rinsed it out with some water. Why not? It's all going in one pot. So this is the uh, the liquid from the chicken and rice. Yeah. Yeah. Natural starch there. Yeah. That's Beautiful. what I'm picking it up, That's chef. Fair, yeah, it's yeah. gonna be awesome. And of course, here in Trinidad and Tobago, we can't finish anything without this bad boy. Oh. This is gonna add some flavor. It's gonna add some attitude. And we just do it because we're Trinis. Well, I, I have dealt with them already, so you're gonna finish it as well. Please squash one. Well, it, again, double trouble. This is double trouble, <laughs> Doc Chef Shiraz. <laughs> Chef Rory loves the chilies. <laughs> Bring it on on. Give it to him. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cover down that bad boy, and we want to bring this to a bubble, and it's gonna cook in that braising liquid. For 25 to 30 minutes. So, Chef Jason, Chef Shiraz, it's been about 20 minutes, so let's take a look and see where we are. Definitely. See what this bad boy, this guy has been up to. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, take a look at that guy. Let see what's going on inside. Let take me get in the mix. I literally mix. <laughs> oh yes, look at this. Chef Roy, are you seeing this, right? Absolutely you beautiful. Can, you can see that the sauce has thickened up a bit. Yes, it has. It's and, almost uh, a nice thick consistency. You can see the onions, the aromatics, the celery, the sive, yeah. all those beautiful flavorings inside there. Looks beautiful. And uh, nice. Flavorful, smells good, looks good. Yeah. And this is the color of what you of a good Trini curry, you know, it's dark. It's not as bright as the, the foreign based curries, which are tend to be a little more turmeric based. Yeah. yeah. That comes from the masala that we added inside there, the chief brand masala. Okay. Now in Trinidad, to make sure that the sauce is perfect, you take a little bit like that. Oh, okay. And we just let it air out a little bit. You put your hand out. Like that. Okay. <laughs> when in Trini, you gotta be a Trini. Bring it. And then we just put it on, you gotta taste it. 
Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the approval. <laughs> so Chef Shiraz, Very tell good. us about what's going on inside here okay. now. So it's, 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 it's exactly where you want to have it. It's cooked, it's tender, it's flavorful. The sauce has come in, the flavors are adding, and that's it. Oh, it's a piece of liver. Yeah. Sure. You're on main or wrong. There we go. <laughs> How lucky is that he? Flavor? That would like to be next to pot new flavor too. <laughs> The day was excellent. Uh, we just finished cooking. Dish is beautiful, just fresh local ingredients. Um, what they do is just impressive, not what we do in North America. Everything is so fresh, the aromatics, what they use a little bit of a pinch of salt just to bring out the flavor. Not the flavor of the dish particularly, but it was beautiful. It's good. I think you say your toast is the spicy, so it's not, uh, it's not grainy. It's, yeah, you yeah. develop, yeah. of course, when you're doing and spices, you so to get it in. Oh, Correct, that's what we're talking about. So, Chef Rory, are you ready to eat? Let's try it. So, let's do this. Yeah. We got some rice inside here. Chef Shiraz made some basmati rice. And we always add an element of freshness to our food. So, some fresh watercress, some cucumbers, some tomatoes inside there. Sometimes these things, are any item that is braised for a long period of time. Something fresh. That's, it. That's why you're a chef. <laughs> <laughs> chef Shiraz, where's, where's the dal? Let's get this on. We are the river today. We're not going to dine or eat off any hotel pan chef. There you go. Perfect. We're going to eat from the pot. Straight from the Straight pot. Straight from the pot. Direct from the river. There you go. We're going to go with that. We're yeah, going to serve up a nice yeah. curry duck here. Some steamed by bath pasteurized, split peas dal, watercress salad as well. Beautiful. Yeah. So Chef Shiraz is coming in with the dal right now. This is a split pea based liquid that we eat with our rice. What kind of rice? Jasmine rice or basmati, basmati rice? Basmati rice. Any white rice is definitely a go. Any white rice is definitely a go. Yeah. 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 And of course, the, the pepper in this yeah. one is just for flavoring inside there. If you burst it, it's going to be hot. But it's usually just for that fruitiness and a slight spice. Chef, you see what's going on here? Yeah, so beautiful. Feel, feel the consistency of that. That's going to be absorbed into the basmati rice so Lovely. well. Yeah. It's very hearty, it's rich. Yeah. Perfect complement to Fantastic. Our We're going to eat straight from the pot today, so... We're going to try it. In Trinidad and Tobago, they call this a kalchul. In the right. local culinary world, they call it a ladle. <laughs> look how beautiful. Look at the color, chef. Beautiful. Even with our traditional food, we can make it look really beautiful. So that's white, uh, yellow, and that beautiful curry duck. Beautiful. Can we get that fork there, Chef? Certainly. And we just come here with some beautiful tomatoes, some cucumbers, some beautiful pretzels. Good to go. And I mean, it adds a little bit of floral appeal to the plate. And that's you right there, Chef. Let's try that out. Tell Again, all the I back. wish you had smell o vision at home because this <laughs> smells fantastic. I'm going to give it a taste here now. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. The perfect bite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're in Trinidad and you need an opportunity to come down to the river and lime, you have to do it. Guys, I got to tell you, this is absolutely beautiful. And the, the flavors explode. I mean, what more could you want? What more could you want? Beautiful. Good friends, good music, great atmosphere. Good, good river food. line. Good river line. <laughs>
tomato and cucumber go great with it. Yeah. It cools yeah. it down a little bit, you know? Yeah. Freshens it up, yeah. No, I was just saying, I'm just amazed how much little salt you use in this dish. Yeah, as I was telling Chef Rory earlier on, the spices are so pungent and strong that you get to cut back on like salt and black pepper, you don't need it. I just imagine salt is only used to bring out the flavor. That's Correct. Yeah. That is mostly yeah. what you roll up salt, yeah. Even in sweet items, as you know. Exactly. In Newfoundland and Labrador, we think we have it cornered on hospitality, but I'm going to tell you something. Chef Jason, Chef Shiraz really showed us a great time here at the Cora River. Absolutely beautiful. We were liming it with the locals, having a great time. We were doing some uh, curry duck, absolutely beautiful, local wild duck. And we had rice, unbelievable. All the Newfoundland chefs and also family and friends were here. I mean, it's culinary tourism at its best. I really like to thank them, you know, and when they come to Newfoundland and Labrador, watch out because we got to try to rival this. Absolutely fantastic.